Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMercedes.com. It's uh, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, just my body's still aching because I have fever. Uh, but I think I have to do my training because 11 more days before my big competition starts and, uh, you know, the tough gets going and all that bullshit. You know, the funny thing about my coach is when I told him yesterday that I'm feeling sick, he said, okay, fine, good, so come for training tomorrow. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, you know, he doesn't take excuses at all. Oh yeah, and one more thing, uh, I registered for the 31st uh, war, that is body adventure run, and uh, I wanted to put myself in the below average category. My coach told me, no, nothing doing, you're above average. That's what my coach expects from me. Yeah. Right, I've reached my first pit stop, that is to fill petrol. Um, yesterday when I was registering, I told my coach that I'm gonna you know, register myself for the average category and immediately screamed he said no you're going to register for the above average category that shows how much my coach believes in me you know i got sick twice this week uh, with fever cough cold uh, flu and uh, i've decided to stop my diet and go back to eating normal like eating carbs and everything else uh, maybe i need to reset my system uh i got up uh, yesterday i felt sick i don't know what happened uh, I was trying to um, just, you know, take a laxative just to clean up my system and then I ended up, uh, everything was okay until uh, I think uh, the afternoon because maybe I didn't eat properly or something and uh, I ended up uh, getting fever. This was the fever whereby, you know, your body just starts heating up and uh, very soon you're shivering and it was like crazy because, uh, I mean, I became so weak and this is the second time it has happened this week when I get sick I get sick always once a year and when I get sick I get sick really bad so well uh, alarm bells were ringing because I got this competition coming up uh, in another 11 days whereby I need to be in the best shape of my life and obviously it's not just being in the best shape I need to train for it so I can't train at the last three four days I need to train at least uh, you know two weeks in advance so well I uh, you know I got in a panic state I took uh, medicine and um, I, I didn't know whether I was gonna do it or not uh, make it for today's training um, however I, I took some medicine and uh, then you know I'm actually on a ketogenic diet so I decided to uh, you know I need to go back to eating normal so the first thing was, you know, when you're sick in the Indian tradition, we normally have rice, boiled rice with water. That's called kanji in India, Indian uh, the thing, you know, South India. So I just had kanji uh, and uh, I started feeling better. So I had, I think, four or five bowls of hot broth of rice, you know. And uh, eventually the fever started to go down, so I called up my coach and uh, first thing he was like, oh, okay, you're sick, very good, no problem. So just make sure that you come for training tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, we registered, <coughs> when I was speaking to him on the phone, I registered for the race. Oh, another funny thing happened. When I was registering for the race, uh, you know, I was looking at the different categories and there was just for fun, there was average, there is, uh, um, you know, fit uh, and there's about fitness and you know to my surprise my coach asked you know i told my coach okay why don't i register in the just for fun category so he's like no you'll go higher and i was like okay fine so i go in the average category he said no higher i was like what fit category he said no higher i was like you want me to register in the above fit category and he was like yes and, uh, ah. As it is, taking part is scary, and then over that he wants me to take part in an above average category. Obviously, he is in the elite category, so, yeah. So, after that, uh, uh, that shock, um, went off to sleep, and uh, today when I got up in the morning, the first thing was, I was like, ah, oh, man, I need to sleep, just forget all this. Uh, but then I was like, ah, my competition's coming up, so, oh, see a runner. Oh, good to see a runner. Somebody's at least exercising. Anyway, so I, uh, you know, I got up in the morning and I was like, ah, I have to do this. So I eventually dragged myself off and uh, still have a, you know, nasal, have a, yeah, I don't know, still feeling sick. 
feeling a little bit of cold i think today after my training session i'll go uh, to a doctor and uh, get some i don't know flu shot cold shot fever shot whatever shot just make sure that i feel okay because ah uh, my first race october 31st i need to make sure that i am at the best of what i can possibly be otherwise um, you know you wouldn't want a bad race and obviously i've decided to take a either a gopro or a ee camera that i'll be using uh, when i'll be competing so you know the whole race will be live as i'm doing it so these are the thoughts that i have uh, today as i'm driving down i'm actually in um, you know this is in jumeirah i just reached the place and once i reach the first thing that i do is go to sleep um, um, you know the reason i go at least um, you know i i sleep at um, no sorry i wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and i leave home by 5 or 5:30 today is a little late 5:30 normally by 5 and i reach my destination by 6 o'clock that is after having a pit stop petrol and um, taking anything that i need from the petrol station um, the grocery shop well, i don't know what do you call it pit stop or what um so um and then once i reach the venue i i i park my car uh, where i'm supposed to be and i go to sleep i go to sleep and wake up at around 8:00 uh, o'clock so from 6 to 8:00 o'clock i sleep in my car sometimes i hate it because it's very uncomfortable i got a small car i wish i had a big ass car so you know could stretch my legs but i don't have one i have a nice small little nissan picanto yeah nice car anyway so i somehow manage to stretch myself and try to keep myself comfortable sleep and then after that what happens yeah this is the princess tower can you see at the top yeah this is the tower that caught fire yeah not princess tower i'm not sure yeah you can see how tall the buildings are pretty tall yeah so uh and uh, what yeah so i sleep at 8 o'clock and then sleep till 8 o'clock then get up 8:30 get fresh by 10 no by 9 my coach comes and then i'm all ready for action and uh, that's how my day starts so yeah this is me with my training schedule from 9 o'clock till 10 o'clock or till 10:30 sometimes even yeah 10:30 is okay 11 i think we train and then finally i decide to you know go home yeah by the time i reach hey, nice scenery nice. Finally reach by eleven o'clock. No, what am I saying? I reach by one thirty, and that's about it. So today we'll be training in a new venue. I don't know if I want to just be here, but anyway, I got to check this place because it's a fly sky Dubai. Just want to check and make sure that I'm at the right place. Uh, you know. Today I have some extra special training to be done. So this is sky Dubai. This is how it looks like. Yeah. So I'm going to be at this venue. So let's see. got some new training that is i don't know what my coach has in mind so oh, people are training a lot of people training here so not need to prepare myself i guess let's see what happens hey but it's pretty interesting you can see all these people i think uh, these are crossfit individuals who are actually training so mm, okay so this is what it is It's amazing how fit people want to keep themselves. We we tend to think that uh, people are not very dedicated, but everyone's dedicated. Everybody. If you actually see, there are these people who really push themselves. Oh, this is the comedy club festival. Yeah, I was wondering where this place was. So that is the comedy club festival. There, this is the place. Yeah. The comedy club uh, featuring all these comedians. Oh. Okay, big place here. Yeah. So yeah, uh, um, I don't know what else I sing. Anyway, I need to prepare myself because I got 11 more days, and that's as far as I know. And uh, a lot of people are keeping themselves fit, so there's no excuse for me. I need to keep myself fit as well. So it's crazy, man. I wish sometimes I had the genetic structure of uh, some of these people who, you know, are born like these amazing athletes. but they also work hard they train 24/7 so even i need to train myself anyway 
reaching my venue and uh, once I reach my venue I'm going to go to sleep ah, this is life anyway live from live uh, I'm giving his first ever blog while driving it's kind of nice but kind of funny so I just hope that uh, when I take part on the day of the race that I'll be the best of what I can be I just hope my nerves are controlled and yeah I'll have that camera which I'll be putting on top of my head while running so I just hope I do that part properly as well anyway yeah see you for now all right oh in case you want to know where is my resting venue this is where I normally you know sleep in the car it's near the beach nice little place nobody disturbs me I just uh, park my car there yeah that's nearly the venue I just park my car there and I sleep nobody disturbs see here it is ah, nice little place on the beach <laughs> and you know even at this time in the morning people are either doing exercise or something so this is my nice little location where I go off to sleep mm. yeah this is where I park so here it is this is where I am there's the beach and this is me so I'll be going to sleep now thank you very much and uh, continue my video after I wake up all right so uh, I've set up my bed nicely this is me in my car you can see this is my car and uh, this is where I am down here yeah. so it's a little hard to sleep because uh, my legs come till there yeah my legs <laughs> so I'll be sleeping now from now till uh, what time eight o'clock yeah uh, it's bloody uncomfortable uh, I need to put something back anyway. Uh, this is a part I hate because I like sleeping in a comfortable bed, but then again, you know, I don't have many options, do I? Yeah, and uh, yeah, just one thought uh, that I wanted to share before going to sleep, um, um, you know, the, when I was driving, you know, uh, in the morning, uh, obviously everyone was in a rush and then uh, I, I started to drive fast and, uh, then there was these other cars that were driving recklessly and fast as well. And then I kind of immediately road rage kind of hit me and I was like, ah, let me show this guy and let me move ahead of him. And he got into a road rage and then, you know, another car came in. And then uh, as I was just getting into the road rage kind of uh, virus, I just, I just, you know, kind of got aware of my situation. I was like, wait, 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 relax. What the hell are you doing? And uh, I started to slow down. I was like, man, take a deep breath. Just relax, all right? Uh, you're not going to, even if you're late, nothing's going to happen. And obviously, you have three hours extra, so chill. So I took, you know, I took a few steps back and I sort of relax. And the guy obviously went ahead and, um, you know, he got ahead. And But then after that, I was just glad that I didn't allow road rage to kind of dictate terms as to how I should feel because it's kind of crazy you know especially when driving in the morning with all the madness that is there it's not worth it and I remember even yesterday there was um, when I was trying to park my car in Jitex um, it was so packed jam my cars were parked in all different directions it's hardly uh, what was a two-lane road became a single lane road and this guy is like um, I was going in this direction and he came the opposite direction and and there were two cars behind me and uh, you know I couldn't move and this guy's talking on the phone he has a big ass hummer and then he was like still talking and I'm like man either you can move back or I can move back and then he doesn't bother he has no car behind him I have like two cars behind me and you know he's just talking 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 and I was like I can't move back what do you want me to do and then um, finally he gets out of the car after I think nearly two minutes gets out of the car and is like nah, yeah what I don't know, something he said, like, you're not moving back, I'm going to call the police. And I was like, how am I supposed to move back? There's a car behind. And then the car behind started reversing. And this guy said, let me show you and all that. And I was like, ah, I don't have time for this bullshit. I just reversed the car and um, I went off. So, ah, egos and road rage and all that nonsense. Not worth it, man. Not worth it. 
it's kind of crazy. And I hate these events where people, you know, just wear suits and ties and try to act all corporate-ish and formal. It's so sickening. I, it's so suffocating. I cannot bear the corporate world where everyone's so bloody fake and everyone's trying to act larger than life. Anyway, I need to sleep because I need to get up. My neck is killing me with this stupid... Ugh. Anyway, and I look up, I think I can see this. Mm. Nice little building. I'll sleep. And let's see what happens next. Uh, Alright, time for me to get up. Uh, it's 8.20. Uh, and now I need to freshen up. Oh boy. It's outside. Be sunny. Alright, so now uh, I'm in the washroom. And uh, just finished getting freshened up. <sighs> um, we're going back to the car hmm. and today since uh, we'll be training at uh, a new location so what I'll do is I'll take my car from wherever it is go around the area but before that I think I'll have to take a coffee so this is where I am this is the place where I am and uh, Marina the walk Started to get a bit humid, um, but it's okay. So the first thing is uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee. Otherwise, I don't think I can survive. Uh, need to have a head kick start. I'm just gonna jump start. And uh, the training, as always, is very intense. It's, uh, if your head is not there, <laughs> you're just gonna get destroyed. So yeah, I think, um, but yeah, uh, no matter what I do, um, the job of the coach is always to push me even further. And can you imagine, I've been doing this for so many months now, it's like, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, it's so tough that I ask myself, why the hell am I doing this? Seriously, I ask myself, why can't I just, you know, do some exercise normally near the house, don't bother but then I kind of uh, think of the progress I've made I think of the goals that I have I think of the fact that uh, how, you know how much I want to evolve and that pushes me to do what I'm doing otherwise trust me it's really gets to you it's very tough it's not easy people think uh, everything that I do is just fun fun there's no, you know, see, the buildings. There is no, uh, you know, I just take life relaxed. Where my goals are concerned, I really push myself, put a lot of effort. Although I wish uh, success would come a little bit easier, but then if success came easier, I think uh, everyone would be successful. So this has been a, a journey that I've started uh, from the month of January. Today is October. It's crazy. One year has passed by. And uh, a lot of things have happened. There's a lot of things I've discovered about myself. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Anyway, gotta get to the car. This is my car. And gotta get ready and uh, be prepared for the training and get my ass kicked <laughs> uh, and after this I think I'll go to a doctor so here's my car and logging out for now so 8.44 I'm pretty sure uh, my coach must be already there at the venue he's always on time he's very particular about time because um, you know he works on time so well, um, you know, the the most uh, frustrating thing about these training sessions are not the fact of the results, not the fact that it's hard work, it's pretty tough, which it is, you know. The most difficult thing is the fact that, um, um, you know, by, by the time I reach home, I'm, I'm absolutely tired. I, I don't have the energy. 
and then you know like now after i finish i'll go home and sleep and then when i get up uh, i have to go for training again and um, then by the time i come home i'm dead so it's like a whole day dedicated only for training so i don't get time for anything else and uh, the next day you know you have so many pending tasks so many that um, if I like to give you an example yesterday was my day off uh, day before yesterday was my training so on my day off I went for two meetings one was to purchase the watch I got it uh, the Polar V800 I got it at a good discount and uh, the second one was to speak to uh, AEE that is a company uh, for a webcam as a sponsorship now the first meeting was at around 1 o'clock which finished at 3 30 the second meeting was at World Trade Center which was a nightmare for the parking which was uh, sorry there was coffee uh, signal so the uh, World Trade Center you know Jitex exhibition is going uh, going on and so it, it was a nightmare just to get a parking and I wasted 45 minutes just trying to get a parking then I wasted another 30 minutes waiting for the guy to turn up and finally after an, it took me nearly I think one hour 15 minutes one hour 20 minutes by the time I reached home and then you know I I got fever so my yesterday's day was completely ruined I couldn't do anything and it it really kills you man I, I mean like you I have so many emails to do I want to write articles I want to put up new blog posts uh, videos I'm unable to do all these things and it kills me I, I just hate it so I need to be very particular with my time I need to know how I'm gonna spend it and um, uh, sometimes I wish there were like 100 hours a day not 24 because things get crazy and uh, you know the work life uh, normal work life schedule that people go in traffic and all it it is it is miserable especially the traffic oh goodness it's uh, the only fortunate thing is i have this uh, you know educational cds in my uh, car which i listen to because uh, instead of being in the uh, instead of being in the traffic jam listening to senseless uh, radio chatter or uh, nothing but uh, um, you know just music Music is okay, but listening to music for three hours uh, doesn't make any sense. So I listen to educational programs, and I'm glad I finished two audio books. So um, anyway, I think that's the biggest challenge, and so I need to be very disciplined with myself. My room is a mess. My cupboard is a mess. Everything is a mess, and I just want to sort all those things out. I just hate it. So coming to the job at hand, Sky Dubai. Okay, so today we are going to have some special training. I'm not supposed to leak those secrets. Sky Dubai, here it is. La 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 la. Okay, so um, nice dogs. Dogs. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, uh, started to get sunny, a little bit humid, and it's going to get bloody hot. But anyway, let's see, can I park it here? I think I can park it here. I think I can park it. Think so? Yes. <laughs> yes, I can park it here near Discovery. All these guys, these guys are there. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can park it here. Yeah. Park it here. No problem. I don't think anyone will mind. Me park it here. So I'll park it here. <clears throat> Uh, it doesn't say anything that you can't park here. I think I can park here. Not too sure. I'm not sure if cops come here. Is it allowed? I can see one car parked here. Yeah. Okay, wait. You know, just to be on the safer side because, you know, you don't want to break the law or something. Not breaking the law, but then again, it'll just park where everyone else parks. So. What are they saying? You know, uh, by the way, speaking of comedians, uh, these guys, uh, you nothing but respect for these guys because being a stand-up comedian is one of the toughest things. You need to make people laugh. You need to be original. You need to have your own brand. Others, uh, you're not going to survive. You know, it's amazing. Look at these guys. They're just training. Like, wow. You know, the, these people really, you know, we, we kind of look at people and we think that... Uh, 
okay people don't work hard a lot of these guys work very hard they really really work hard they really commit themselves to what they're doing and uh, it's nothing but incredible so uh, this is the venue for the comedy club well, sometimes I wish I was free to go for a comedy but then again my time is so limited this is, a, this is actually my first video blog, uh, driving and doing this. I think actually it's a good idea because I don't get time to record at home. So I might as well record you. <laughs> okay, finish recording. No, sorry, finish parking. So I'm parked here. This is the comedy club. Massive venue. And then the next thing which I do is I put this on my car because I don't like... I don't know, it just... Uh, you know, this is my, uh, you know, I just like to keep my car cool by the time I come back. So wait, let me put this up here. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, let me finish this and I'll start recording. I finally reached the venue. Uh, this is the marina, uh, where the comedy club is there. You can see at the back of the comedy club. So I'm just waiting for Jax and today we're going to train near the skydive uh, venue. And uh, I think something hard has been planned there. You know, one of my training partners who I train with is uh, Marlin, and uh, that is that is Marlin. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. So she is my training partner, and she kicks my ass every single time. She's one of the top three runners in Finland. So there she is, Marlin. Marlin. She's a very famous lady. She's slightly proud. She doesn't talk much. See, there she is. Yeah. Um, she's only 23 years old here. Yeah. 23. Okay, she's a bodybuilder also, so very dangerous. She doesn't talk, but she, and she's blonde and she only speaks to me, yeah, because her husband doesn't allow her to speak to anyone. <laughs> Marlin, say hi. Hello. Okay, that's Marlin, and trust me, if you run with her, you're gonna regret it because she runs, flies like the wind. So, the next Olympic champion. Anyway, but it's good to have a partner who kicks your ass. But I hate it when it's a, you know, pretty-looking girl who kicks your ass every single day. So, just makes a tattooed guy like me look really bad so you know since we're near the comedy club uh, it's actually comedic to watch me train with her because every time i'm struggling so this is marlin getting ready marlin okay that's marlin yeah <laughs> all right now here is jack this is how jack comes and this is his normal way of coming It's really loud, you know. He never comes uh, like quiet. He always comes loud. And, uh, and this is Jack, the infamous Jack. Close up. Yeah. And he's in his grumpy mood. He never smiles, you know. He likes to be rough it up. Terminator style, you know. So if you if you want to, you know, uh, meet someone who's dangerous, that's Jack Sophie. And I uh, don't think he comes fresh. He is he finished a workout. So you can hear the loud music, so he doesn't allow anyone else to talk. No, nothing. This is gonna be on a YouTube, you know. So this will be on YouTube, but you yeah. want me to say good morning everybody. Yes. To all the now fans. I'm starting the training with Mr. Lloyd. Uh, he's saying he's starting the training. And Marlin. Yeah, uh, so he's starting the Sudden training. Sudden death. Sudden death. Today is planned to murder us. So you can see him with his lovely legs. Yes. They're not waxed, <laughs> but don't get fooled by his kind uh, appearance. He's you, have, a you don't have a car. Uh, Water, towel, gloves. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So everything. Yeah, leave the bag in All the right. car. I think we have to focus now. Focus, focus. Together, I say yes. Three times I'm saying together. Three, two, one, go. Stand on it, don't jump on it. Stand on it to get your height. Now jump.
You don't need two feet to jump. One on the top, push yourself. Wait. Go up. Move. Now you jump, you get the height, you cannot move. Very funny from you guys. Go. I'm waiting for you both. Okay. My student is too tired. They cannot finish the exercise. Okay, rest. Two. Two step only. First, second. Then you will use these two, right? Hold yourself. Jump. Three, two, one. Extend. Two. Breathe. Extend. Right? Come down. Again. Extension. Go. Stop. All right. You can see my condition. I just finished a session with Jax. There's Marlin. How are you feeling, Marlin? Yeah, great. Uh, Marlin's feeling great. Few, few blisters, otherwise fine. Yeah, she said few blisters, otherwise she's fine. Jax is there. Too. Uh, that guy is Jax. Jax, oh, he, you know, he tortures me every time, you know, there he is. Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only tease, <laughs> tease him when I'm far from him, otherwise he'll kill me. So she finished first place, I finished second out of uh, the race, so second place is not bad. But the only thing people don't know, there were only two people, so it's okay. Now I have to go and take rest and oh yeah, prepare the second session. So let me say bye for now, so I can focus on what I'm doing, because my brain is not working. Bye. So I uh, just came for my first pit stop after my training. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. Uh. So I came to my first pit stop after training now. Uh, I need to uh, get something to eat on the way. The worst part is, uh, you know, in most of these places they have carbs. I'm not supposed to have carbs. I need to actually uh, ooh, take uh, uh, non-bread related items because what will happen is if I take bread related items, then uh, it's unwanted. Uh, I don't want to eat bread and all that, you know. I just want and if you want to eat something worthwhile, there's nothing worthwhile in fast food junks. And most of these places are fast food. <sighs> anyway, now I have to go to do some work. Uh, especially I have to take um, my injection. So, start recording after that. So, uh, where am I? Okay, um, alright. Um, now I just have to go pick up something from uh, 2XU. Actually, that's my favorite brand, uh, especially for tights and um, what else? Um, you know, yeah, especially uh, tights, mostly tights and running gear. <sighs> you know, the, the, the biggest challenge that I face out of this training is the fact that I don't get time for anything. My whole day goes into training now. What's the time? Now it's 11.36. So I've been on the road from after I got up four o'clock morning. Just finished my training at eleven o'clock. Ah, uh, it was a torture, I'll tell you. Don't think for a minute it's easy. It's not a cakewalk. It's a killer. And now, uh, well, I have to. Sorry, that was soda. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, now I have to go and just collect uh, something from 2XU. Following that, I have to go to visit the doctor at the clinic. So <coughs> I go visit the doctor and then um, after that I'll go and sleep or maybe I'll go and sleep and then I'll meet the doctor. Then evening again I have a training session. So yeah, you know, the challenge is just the time factor. I'll tell you, suddenly it drives you so mad. Yeah, you, know, you can't can't do anything. Well, I can use the time to listen to CDs and uh, educational stuff. But then the fact comes that you also want to do and pursue other interests. Like uh, I like to put up blogs. I like to put up videos. I think uh, the one solution that I've got is this. Um, these. Uh, you know, portable devices. I think at least I can make a video this way. Others, the whole day I end up doing nothing. And I'll tell you, by the time I reach home, finish a shower, I get so tired. Oh, so now I've reached uh, 2XU, and uh, this is the store that I come to, Sports in Life. Uh, and uh, the guy that I meet is normally Jeff. Jeff is normally here. And it's my other friend. Uh, so this is our. How are you, man? Hey. How are you? So this is another friend of mine. How are you doing? Yep. Yep. So can I help, sir? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm supposed to collect a ja Jack's watch and pay for it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. So uh, this is the store. Actually, I buy everything here. I like this place a lot. Quite a number of stuff, uh, mostly for triathletes. Ah, uh, man, it's tiring. So just will wait and collect it. So I bought this polar watch yesterday. I still don't know how to use it. So, uh, let's see. Get the watch and collect it. Uh, so, back on the road again. Uh, I finished collecting the stuff from 2XU. You know, the one thing which I've realized here in Dubai, I don't know if it is only here in Dubai or anywhere or what it is, but people, when they have to pay you money back, when they have to return your money, they either never pick up your calls or, you know, I'm in the tunnel. Uh, then don't pick up your calls or uh, uh, you know they put your number on block or they try to avoid you I mean, it's so stupid man when you wanted the money someone helped you and when you return the money back you act like a total jerk I mean, it's so messed up yeah I mean it's crazy so I kind of hate that and I have money floating in the market where people have to pay me back <sighs> that's one that's irritating in fact, I was just sharing with one guy uh, just now in the store. Uh, I hate, uh, and I kind of love my life. I like the fact that I can do whatever I like, um, live the way I want, do whatever pleases me. Uh, the reason I say that is, yesterday when I went to Jitex to the hall, uh, you know, everyone was wearing a suit, everyone was dressed up all handy dandy and everyone was acting like a real jerk off like you could just watch people being so fake it it just reeks of insincerity everyone's trying to be posh and uh, sophisticated and you know nose is up in the air and they are talking hi how are you oh it's so nice and they're standing with so much interest it's so bloody fake you see the guy standing upright with his arms folded yes yes oh wow we uh, you know, the only thing they're interested in is all these fake kind of uh, pleasantries. I don't know how anyone can work in the corporate world. It's so sickening. It is so stupid. It is so silly. It's so artificial. And the only thing they're interested in is, you know, just work, nothing with the person. And when politics comes into play, it becomes even more dirty. I just hate the very stench of it. That's why I'm glad that I am myself. I work my, by myself. I'm alone. I can use whatever language I like. I can say, fuck off. I can say, get lost. I can fart. And nobody is there to, you know, question. I'm in my own private world, man. It's it's an amazing little world. It's it's beautiful. It's myself. It's who I am. I don't have to worry about anything or be anything else. So it's kind of nice. And uh, I'm happy about it. So yeah, that's uh, that's a good part about being, you know, self-employed. You don't have to listen to anyone's nonsense or take anyone's garbage. I don't know how people work in the corporate world. In fact, I know a person who, a friend of mine, who is working in a multinational giant. 
where her clients literally abuse everyone, the whole team. They come there and they abuse everyone. And they have to sit quiet because these are some of their top paying clients. So you have to stand there and you have to take their shit. Even when they go for meetings, in fact, even if they ask them a glass of water, they say that, uh, do we look like, uh, uh, does it look like a restaurant or something like that? When they ask them, what about the parking? Uh, is there any place where you can park? Uh, is that our problem? So that's how they talk. And they still have to listen and they still have to go and see their faces. I mean, it's sickening. So I'm just happy with my life, trust me. This is the life of my dreams and I want to die this way. It's a beautiful life. Happy being Loy. I love being Loy. It's amazing. Uh, so now I'm off to the clinic to meet a doctor so that I can get my flu shots or fever shots or whatever antibiotic shots because I need to make sure that I'm in good health for the coming uh, 31st. October race. Ah, ah boy. What's the time? Uh, 12.30. So it took me approximately one hour to come down here. Ah. Ah. Now, meet up with the doctor, see what he has to say or she has to say. Wait, let me run. Ah, cross, cross, cross. Okay, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. I checked for the Ayurvedic massage. But apparently, they were busy, busy. So maybe I'll get the massage later. But for now, I'll go meet the doctor. So I'm going into the clinic, Indian run clinic. So they talk pretty funny. They're always like, yes, sir, and all that stuff. Is this moving? Shit, I'm not moving, okay. So they'll be like, what's the patient's name? I'm not a bloody patient. Right, let's go and meet the doctor and see where it is. Uh, this is it. Funny medical center. And now we're going to meet the doctor. Uh. Hey, hi. Uh, I called before. Hey, how are you? Good, fine, um, I have to meet the doctor for flu, cough, cold, and. GP doctor? Yeah, what? Well, this is the lady, okay? The recorded on YouTube, huh? <laughs> okay. Hmm. So. Huh? Zero double five six nine six nine six two six. Six two six. Mary Dell, how are you? Yeah. See, this is Mary Dell. Mary Dell. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So this is the reception of Dr. Sunny's medical center. Yeah. I don't. know, I changed my number, so I don't know if you'll get it. Old number, you know, sir? No. Five five six two three two four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Five five six two three two. Five six. No. Five five six two three two four. Yeah, you got it? I uh, changed my number, yeah. So, uh, I have to go and meet the doctor, take an injection. Alright, so I went to the doctor. His name is Dr. Qureshi from Dr. Sunny's Clinic. And you'll be surprised, this doctor turned out to be a gem of a guy. He spoke to me and said there's nothing wrong with me. In fact, he even told me not to take any medicine. Yeah, that is just to start off with. Told me not to take any medicines. He said, just eat smart, you'll be okay. You know, had it been any other doctor, they would have said, uh, you need to take this medicine, that medicine, it's all fake medicines and... Uh, they would have uh, tried to make some money, but he didn't, and I respect the guy, so anyway. Now, I will be moving on to my bestest friend, and this guy's name is Ajmal, he's in life pharmacy. And the thing I like about this guy is he always gives me good advice, but he's a lazy bum. His name is Ajmal. Now he's busy with someone, I have to get to him, and uh, you know, all my supplements I take from Ajmal only. So if you are in life pharmacy, ask for Dr. Ajmal. I call him Dr. Ajman because he's like a doctor. Uh, he's in a Saja branch. This is how the pharmacy looks like. And uh, he's busy. As soon as he comes, the patient, then I'll tell you how is he. So this is Mr. Dr. Ajman. Can you see Dr. Ajman? This is Dr. Ajman. He's single. He's single and uh, he only talks to me because I have many beautiful ladies on my Facebook. <laughs> Otherwise, he doesn't talk to me. But he's a nice guy. See, see, he has a nice mind. This guy is a mallu, but he's still, you know, he's just fair and lovely. Can you see his? <laughs> yeah, see. Oh, okay. See, he's trying to copy me. So now I'm going to take some nice secret medicines, Viagra and all that stuff. I, can, I don't know. Uh, Viagra is for what? Breakfast, no? Yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll take these medicines and then I'll come back. So, finish purchasing all these supplements which I need. Vitamin A, D, K, then vitamin C, then A to Z, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then glucosamine, chondrite in MSN, and, uh, you know, add a protein bar as well. 
right now the time is bloody two o'clock still driving so i went to also check one book that i gave for photocopying because i need to give one of my friends and uh, uh, then i've also ordered a uh, lunch which will include um, more of uh, rice because easy absorption i want to be nice to my system and uh, you know i think uh, i definitely am looking forward to go and sleep because i'm tired uh, it's been uh, i have a training session in the evening so yeah and also put my clothes to wash check if i can see and answer any emails which i doubt and um, just take rest and mentally prepare myself for the workout in the evening because there's going to be one crazy ass workout ah, another one 11 more days imagine <laughs> it's going to be one la 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 crazy workout so now i'll be going in parking and also i want to buy pickle but the pickle is not there because it's nice with rice uh, let's see uh -huh -huh. so i need to go on time because that guy the delivery guy will be coming towards my house with the food so i need to be there hmm. so let me see okay so that's you know more or less the first half of my day which is crazy um you know started off at four o'clock now it's two o'clock and rest and run back again so that is how my life is all crazy busy boozy <laughs> okay yellow so let me park and go up home and prepare myself for what lunch yeah <sighs> well now this is me going home after a crazy ass day well actually in between what happened was uh, an arabic lady muslim lady actually stopped me and she asked me about my tattoos and the fact that she wanted to get inked but you know how the laws in this country are so especially the fact that uh, you know she being she being a uh, muslim you know it's not allowed especially if you're an arab uh, i do know that getting tattoos is a personal choice but i don't want to be the guy who recommended someone and you know they got a tattoo so i told her you know, you get in Bangkok. So if she travels all the way to Bangkok, gets a tattoo. That's her call. But I can never understand this. I mean, they know for a fact that it's not allowed in their religion and their custom, and they still are curious to get it. You know, there's a price to pay. Then, if in case you want to remove the tattoo, what do you do next? People, people, they'll never learn. So anyway, reaching home, ah, nice, happy, happy. Ah, I just need to rest. Take a break. Have a Kit Kat. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, that was my bottle about to fall down. And now this is my kitchen. Home, sweet home. Let me open my door. Open my door. And I go in. And I'm greeted by nobody. Where's my doggies? Doggy. Wachi chochi. See, these are my dogs. So let me first get my stuff in. But half my stuff is out and half my stuff is in. Uh, sorry. So that is what it is to you know, be in a life with Loy Macedo. Yeah, like that. So I keep my stuff in. Uh, I need to close my door. I definitely would love a hot shower because a hot shower is something I need. Uh, the only way to relax. And you want to see my doggies? Chuchi, shoo shoo, footy, footy poo poo, watchy poo poo, poo poo, watchy chuchi. That's doggy. And the other two doggy. Watchy chuchi, watchy shoo shoo, watchy chuchu, watchy, watchy chuchi, watchy. All my doggies are excited to see me. I come home. Chuchi. All the doggies. So now, time to change. Have a bath. Eat food. Right, time for me to sleep because it's 3.15. I just have half an hour that I can sleep and uh, the dogs are here. So 
I'll be sleeping for half an hour and then waking up and then start recording again or start my session again. When I'm sleeping, this is how my dog sleeps with me. You see? So whenever I'm sleeping, I always have not only one dog, but the other dog also. So him and the other one. There. So now it's four o'clock and um, I slept for half an hour. I had a dream of something falling on my head, so. Now I'm uh, going to have a Malbari chai tea with a spot of milk, Indian style, South Indian. So get my sugar levels up, have a little bit of sweet carbs, and then get ready for the next session. So I'm gonna go to my favorite restaurant, which is a small place, but I like it very much. So that's it. All right, so now it's uh, time for me to take my dogs and this is so sure. Well, the dogs have to take them down for. Uh, here's one. Okay. And here's another one. I don't know if they're coming in the camera. Okay, I have to take them for a walk. Uh, it's 4:35. Getting late. I need to go fast because I need to take them down for their walk because they have to answer nature's call. Mm -hmm. To take them down and uh, here's another one. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can finish their pissing and shedding and all their stuff. And then after that, once I finish that, give them a little bit of snacks to eat. And then I'll have a shower, dress up, and then rush off back to Borsha Pond Park for the running session, which is. Uh, part of my training regiment today will be long intervals so they'll be running at a particular speed I don't know what the pace would be but then again you know one has to do what one has to do so let me finish taking my doggies and then once I take them up well, I'll have a nice talking session when I'm driving huh? They're waiting for my signal. Go! Well, that's how you train a dog. So it's uh, 5 o'clock, I finished dressing up. Uh, you know, pretty dressed up, everything is sweaty. I had bath and hot water, now I got a rush. And drive down to Barsha. So, now it's 5 o'clock. And I have to mentally get my head geared up for a long interval session which is going to be crazy so yeah you're going to see how the training goes it's going to be humid but at the end of the day a man's got to do what a man's got to do <sighs> boy so that's how my life is you know same way in the morning same way in the afternoon uh, sorry in the evening but the tough part is going to be when i'll have to do a training three times a day and that is where it's going to get a little crazy because then I'll have to obviously start at 4 but then uh, I think uh, I'll be doing a session at 4 o'clock I'll be doing a session at uh, 7 o'clock no 9 o'clock and then I'll be doing an evening session so well, let's see how it goes <sighs> this is how UAE looks like all right, so I'm back on the road. It's 5.30. I collected uh, some photocopies that I needed and now I'm driving down. I have uh, 25 minutes to reach my destination. That's 40 minutes from here. Well, and uh, the worst problem is when you drive, there are some people who should not be given a driver's license because when they drive, I mean, they, they just don't have any judgment. Like there was this idiot who was... Uh, uh, you know, uh, from the, he had to go from the inside lane to the main road. And, you know, there's a signal. And this guy is like, I don't know, I'm sure it is a lady, sure 
absolutely sure because it is only ladies who drive like this so the cars are going and this person is not moving forward then when there's a gap the person goes one step front and that's it and then another car one step front and that's it and the one step is must be an inch and eventually the signal turned red again and there are no cars and instead of going front this person puts the reverse you could see the white lights at the back the reverse you could see the lights on I don't know what's wrong with this idiot and uh, thanks to that great human being lost around three minutes anyway so coming back to my you know journey of driving down ha ah, need to drive 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 and everyone's in a hurry actually now what is happening is the other side of Dubai uh, from Dubai to Sarja everybody's coming back home because Sarja the rents are cheaper Dubai everything is expensive so all the people are working in Dubai to earn more money but they live in Sarja because it's affordable so everybody you can see this side of the road everybody is you know stuck in a traffic jam everybody so if and normally I get a headache when I drive in that lane because especially in a traffic jam because you know imagine spending three hours of your life every single day and some people even spend four four and a half in traffic I can't bear that anyway so apart from that I need to mentally get ready for my workout and the only other thing ah, someone is flashing lights at the back because he's in a hurry anyway so the only other thing on my in my head is um, you know the letter my mother happened to send me a whatsapp message uh, yeah, you know the typical nonsensical stuff that my mother always sends oh my son I love you I miss you love 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 all that bullshit and I think I gave her a response which was kind of my style I let her know for a fact that uh, you know I told her like uh, Helen uh, when I was a small boy and when I needed to hear those words you never said it all you did was you ran behind money and uh, the main thing what you did was train your puppet husband to beat the living daylights out of me and uh, now that I'm 40 years old and I know your nature and your character in and out you expect me to you know suddenly forget everything and fall in love with you and believe that you are my uh, loving mother uh, the person who I had wonderful memories which I never had anyway so I said why don't you focus your attention on uh, your son Leslie Francis Pinto because he's the actual son who you truly loved not me and uh, you know uh, just move on with life the only gratitude that I have for you is the fact that you gave me food you gave me lodging you helped me complete my school uh, you know just the basic stuff and uh, that's about it so out of that kind of courtesy I give you the courtesy back by staying connected to you online apart from that you know nothing else so, and to tell you a fact I don't hate you I don't like you uh, there's no feelings as such I don't wish you bad I'm not angry with you and um, I think you and I should just go our separate ways so that was about it so I give her that message and uh, you know that was about it so I just hope she understood well if she didn't that's her problem because you know there are some people who will never change like uh, ah yeah I even put this sentence I told her that I know that um, I know that you can never change but I need you to know that I have so that was a wonderful lovely message to my mumsy <laughs> actually the problem is I, I never experienced love I didn't know what is the love between a mother and father uh, towards me so you know when whenever whenever I oh wait 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 everyone's slowing down so I need to be careful even though I'm recording you know I'm actually paying attention to everything I do you know it's like having a heightened sense of awareness and uh, the best part when I drive I actually keep a very large gap between me and the first car and I also make sure that there's a large gap between me and the car behind because what happens is I'm in no hurry so uh, and if someone is in a hurry I'll just move and let him drive I'm proud to say in my 12 years 13 years of having a driver's license or maybe 15 years I think much more uh, I've not had I've had um, two silly accidents that was when I was just got my license uh, I was looking uh, on the main road when I was coming into the main road and uh, the car in front of me he didn't move forward he just hit the brakes and I boom, bumped into him small accident two accidents and the only other one was when I was turning I think right when I was turning right 
the guy behind me decided to go straight so we just had a scratch so those were the two accidents apart from that I think uh, only when taking my car out I just scratched the surface of another car and yeah, so these are the accidents uh, the only other time where something really dangerous happened was when I was driving my friend's car he had a outdated tire which exploded when I was going down to Abu Dhabi but fortunately for us the car uh, you know uh, the tire the outer layer exploded the inside layer didn't have any problems anyway this was lucky oh another guy is going very very fast right can I go this way can I go yes I can uh, yes you can go you can go yes 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 go please go hurry buddy hurry buddy hmm. people are in a hurry apparently it's not just me who is running for a training session we have some other people who are going for some other session anyway so what was I saying I forgot yeah so well so that was the story between me and my mumsy yeah and uh, oh by the way uh, another thought that is in my head uh, I think I'm gonna oh see just look at the traffic just look at the traffic can you see this this is incredible this you know the traffic has been this way all the way from Sarja okay so I've dri uh, driven around 20 kilometers and this is the traffic it's unbelievable unbelievable I mean it's it's crazy so hmm, yeah so I was talking about my who who mom yeah mom okay ah, not my mom I don't know what else ah, yeah whatever ah, I keep having so many thoughts oh yeah I was just saying that um, I might, might, M-I-G-H-T, might think of uh, purchasing a Samsung phone. I'm tempted to, but I'm not sure because the Samsung phone looks much better than the iPhone, to be a very honest. And, uh, you know, if I get my next big payment, uh, whatever that is, uh, whenever that is, I'm definitely going to buy the Samsung phone and get rid of this one. I've never used a Samsung phone, actually, and uh, this will be the very first time. But it's going to be an experience and let's see. Mm, I think everything has an experience and we ought to try it out too. So, anyway. Okay. I think I spoke too much. <laughs> Love speaking a lot. So, let me... I think I have to make a few calls. to See, I'm on the Garud Bridge. Garud Bridge right now. Uh, uh, I have around 16 minutes to reach. That means 16 minutes to reach from here to what's the name? Uh, Barsha Pondi Park. So that's it. Apart from that, I think I'll call up a few people who owe me money. I have to remind them, hey, please pay me my money. What else? Anything else? Uh, nothing much more than that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, yeah, I got rid of my diet. Uh, I think I'm going to go normal for now, for some time. No strict dieting. Uh, just for a month or two. You know, just let it go have fruits have carbs relax a bit you know but focus on the training bit I have to get better and uh, uh, tomorrow I definitely would be putting up this video I have a lot of work to do lots 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 too much of pending work so let's see anyway so that's all folks I'll continue the recording once I'm at the you know at Barsha Pond Park Alright, so still driving. I think I have nine more minutes to reach the venue. I think I'm going to make it, but I'll be there on time so I would not get too much time to stretch. Because normally I, I take around 15, 15, 20 minutes to stretch, and then we have a 15, 20 minutes uh, warm up session. So I don't think I'll make it for the stretching bit. But then again, well, it's not good. I shouldn't be late. Anyway, the only other thing which I did useful while driving was I uh, spoke to one of my clients who had to apparently give a presentation to a group. I don't know whether it's a board or something. Was, you know, he was telling me too many things. So he has this big group uh, that he has to give a presentation to and uh, he feels nervous about it. So he wanted some uh, areas to improve and he really wanted to make a big difference. Uh, for me, presentations public speaking have been doing that for a couple of years uh, mentored a couple of world ranked speakers and yeah, not a big deal but uh, you know uh, there, there are a lot of speakers and um, 
you know, end of the day, I think people people who really want to improve, and people who really want to be good, uh, those are the people who you take a lot of pleasure training and mentoring. So yeah, <laughs> eight more minutes, and uh, it's getting dark. So winter is fast approaching, and uh, well, that's what it is. Oh, nice number, Bentley. Don't want to say the number because can't reveal the person's identity. I think I should be going from here. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so that's it. Ah, oh, boy. I hate the driving part because everything is so far. Uh, anyway. So I got approximately two more minutes to reach, and I'm in the Mall of the Emirates. And. Uh, uh, and well, unless of course I'm lucky that I don't get any slow moving car, but I think I'm going to be slightly late, one or two minutes, but I hope uh, there's a good chance maybe they'll not wait. Yeah, after all, there are so many members. So, yep, yeah. thank you. Yeah, see you. See you then. Yeah, so that was a nice guy. And now I'm going. Down, 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 la, la, la. Going down and. Uh, 5.50, two more minutes. I need to rushy, rushy, rush. But drive safely, safely, safely. So it's getting dark. Before, you know, during 6 o'clock it used to be bright. Now six o'clock, it is dark. That means winter is, it's winter, winter, not winter, winter. Hmm. Yes, so it means winter is upon us. Green, 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 go, 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 go. It's a green signal. So if they don't go, then I'll have to wait another two more minutes. Everyone's putting the light. Go, 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 go. Please go, yes, 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 yes. Ah, good did it. Okay, thank you. Green, I'm safe. La la, always good to be safe. Be a safe driver, yes. And now, anyway, I'm gonna reach. So just one more minute and I need to make it. So let me put this off and switch it on. Once I start, I'll finish my training. So this is my running group, the whole gamut of them. They're there. So obviously I've not taken their permission so I can't record them. But uh, this is how my group looks like. All of them are there and most of them are really fast very very fast yeah. very soon they're going to give the briefing as to what is to be done i was late by a few minutes i think two minutes so they started off but anyway this is how my group looks like all of them uh, they're really fast runners almost all of them all right uh, time right now is 7 31 uh, so one and a half hour of exercise and stretching and uh, well, um, I'm among, among the slowest in the group. It means I'm in the last group, but anyway, everyone's gone. And uh, so my day is nearly over. Training is finally over now I have to drive back home. So, well, I'll just send uh, coach my report and uh, I'll go home. All right, uh, the time right now is 7.45 now. Uh, you know, I'm heading back home. <sighs> it's tiring. Anyway, I gotta drive back home, so the time right now is 7.45 and, uh, you know, anyway. <sighs> well, that's what life is. If you have a goal, you gotta push towards achieving it. <sighs> anyway, so let's drive back home. All right, so 9 p.m. I finally reached home. Now, uh, I need to cook. Uh, may need to make something because I just finished my workout. So just seeing whatever is there. A little bit of rice, which I prepared yesterday. Uh, I need to check my freezer. And let's see. Uh, so much stuff in my freezer. So I'll make something. So you saw my whole day right from four in the morning what is it that I do and now it's nine o'clock in the night so let me finish dinner and then I'll share with you how the day went well let me show you something interesting there is uh, you know food kept on the dog's bowl the dogs are not eating nobody's eating 
<coughs> okay that's called trading Uh, uh, who is naughty? His shoulder, his hip huh? Posture. Are you naughty? But yeah, he was, he was kind of messy. What? No. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 Well, time right now is 9.44 and uh, I need to take both my dogs for a walk. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Okay, I need to take them down for a walk, so I need to do this, and then I think uh, most of my responsibilities for the day are done with. <sighs> Come. So, let me finish this, then after that, anyway, I had dinner, so watched a YouTube documentary, actually I was watching on Daniel Bryan and the Yes Movement, how it became famous. It helps in branding and uh, well, after this I'll have a shower and then plan on my day tomorrow. Yeah, so let's see, how does it go? So, now I'm down with my dogs. Oh, show, show, wait. And then I have Mr. Fifi. Wait, don't go. Uh, okay, wait, wait. And then I have Mr. Who is this? Noni. And Pony. Down. So all the dogs are there. Okay, go. And they run around and they have their own places to pee and piss and whatever. Just the joys of fatherhood in the guise of dogs. Well, for me, having them is enough. I don't need any more. So this is how uh, Sarja looks where I stay. It's uh, pretty, pretty much quiet. And uh, yeah, only thing is I need to keep an eye on my dogs because I'm not sure which car would carelessly come and. Sure, sure, come here. I don't know which car would just pass by and think that these are rats or something. You just never know. So, anyway. <sighs> That's my life, man. That's my life. So it's 9.50... No, sorry, it's 10.53 in the night and uh, I'm actually watching stuff on my YouTube channel on my iMac because I just want to check out a couple of videos. Not feeling sleepy, but I'll sleep after some time. Let's see. I was just about to sleep and... Uh... You know, I just want to show you the stupidity of people, how they don't use their brains. Have a look at this. Down, uh, there is a, a truck. A truck and in front of that there is a car. The guy in the car is not... The guy in the car is not willing to move back. And the guy in the truck has to move back. It's, it's kind of crazy. And the people over there, in the front, they're just stuck, you know. It's amazing the stupidity of these people. It's simply amazing. Wow. Stupidity at the highest order. And the traffic is building up. Well, apparently, I think they solved the problem. The car moved at the side. You can see that? The car has moved. And now everyone can go. Crazy people.